that's great. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, welcome! I didn't hear you come in. I was just sitting here by the fireplace, pretending to read a book. <laughs> welcome, everyone. I am your old pal, Bernie. It's that magical time of year again. A time to cuddle up with loved ones, share some gifts, share some cheer, put some old holiday favorites on the old VHS player, and also a time to listen to some good old-fashioned Christmas songs. I love Christmas music, and I love Christmas musicals. There's nothing better to throw on the TV while you're decorating the house or wrapping Christmas presents. So today I'd like to do something special and take a look at three Christmas musical movies. All right, so let's dig into our stocking here and see what our first musical Christmas movie will be. It's, it's, it's just in time for Christmas. Oh boy. I've never heard of this ever before. I'm struggling to remember where or when I first came across this video. I reckon I just found it in some charity shop someplace. What seems to be the problem here? This was produced by Vision Video and it was released in January of 1999. Happens all the time. What? You're knocking yourself out? Oh, no, no, my old truck catching on fire. Here, son, give me a hand up. By the quality of the video, this was obviously shot by some local public access station in uh, Branson, Missouri. You've seen Grandpa Jim. He was supposed to be here a long time ago. No, no, I haven't. I haven't. But since when has Grandpa Jim been on time for anything? <laughs> Now, even though you can clearly see the low budget in here, I do give them some credit. I mean, there's green screen, there's some composite editing, concert footage where they obviously taped a lot of these performances live, there's handheld backstage footage, exterior shots, there are scenes that uh, were probably done on like a soundstage. I mean, a lot of people put a lot of effort into this for whatever reason. The basic story is quite simple. There is a Christmas concert, and the star of the show, a children's entertainer named Grandpa Jim, is delayed getting to the show when his truck breaks down on the side of the road. There are hundreds of children waiting down there in Branson for me to show up for this Christmas show. Son, you've got to help me get there. We cut between scenes uh, featuring Grandpa Jim and Officer Not Carl Winslow. You don't mind if I practice my guitar, do you? Just as long as you don't hit me in the head with it. And scenes from the show itself, which is a mix of backstage footage and the live performances. We also get this guy in an ugly sweater and a epic white mustache who is like our narrator. You here for our community Christmas show last year? <laughs> you weren't. I don't think I could take another Christmas like that one. You see, Tom Bailey, our Sunday school superintendent, wanted to put on this program for the community. Well, things didn't quite go as planned. Get back here! Hey, hello! Come on! You're supposed to be standing still back here! You're way too big to be doing this! Children, Mrs. Harper, where's the call? The pageant director is great. He's always overacting, hamming it up, uh, losing his mind, stressing out backstage. Barbara, when's Grandpa Jim gonna get here? I can't keep these kids back here much longer! Uh, then there's this woman, Barbara Fairchild who it seems is the owner of the theater, and she kind of acts as the host of the show, and she's the one who kicks it off into our opening numbers. But listen, I'm gonna go out front and tell the children that Grandpa Jim's on his way, then I'm gonna sing my Christmas tree song for him. Now, it doesn't take us long. How many of you have one of these in your home? <laughs> in fact, it only takes us as long as the first uh, musical number to realize that this is not just an ordinary Christmas concert. Do you know that if you look hard enough, you can find the story of baby Jesus in that tree? This is a Christian Christmas concert. I love the Christmas tree, so full of life, for it 
reminds me of my Lord Jesus Christ. Just to put it simply, every single song in this entire show is about Jesus. Thank you, dear Jesus, for all of this day. Or God. God knew your name. Or Mary. Or, in one instance, Moses and the Pharaoh. And Moses said, God wants the people let go. Each and every one of them should be free. And Pharaoh said, no, these people are mine, cause each and every one belongs to me. Where's the songs about Santa? Where are the songs about Rudolph and Frosty the Snowman? Where are the songs about reindeer hooves on rooftops and chestnuts over an open fire and presents under the tree on Christmas morning? And do you remember the song, Mary Had a Little Lamb? Yeah. Well, Mary did have a little lamb, and his name was Jesus. A lot of these songs aren't even Christmas-specific Christian songs. Well, you don't have to wonder why the Christ child was born. It was all because of God's love for a world filled up with scorn. They're like Christian songs that you could sing at summer camp or at Thanksgiving or really any occasion. And songs that you can sing at any occasion do not belong on a Christmas concert. It's like a rule or something. I'm in a really big hurry. Could you get my other bags out for me? You not bad enough in your taxi driver. Now I gotta be your bellhop? What? Are you Grandpa Jim? No. I am. Grandpa Jim is a lovable, goofy character. And I'm sure he's like a minor celebrity in Branson, Missouri among the Christian community, at least. And he does have some very pretty songs, which I'm sure are all originals. But to me, the songs just seemed really long and boring and repetitive. Uh, so, some things I liked about the show. Well, I liked the performance from the pageant director. He was lots of fun. Just remember now, a thousand eyes are going to be watching you, so you don't want to get nervous. But remember, this is the biggest show of my life. There's this song by a band called Jordan's Creed. It's pretty all right. Listen to your children crying, their voices filled with fear. The kid. Mr. Bailey, can I go sing a song? Not now, Matthew. There's this one kid named Matthew who keeps on pestering the pageant director to let him sing in the show. Let me go sing a song. You're a shepherd, not a singer. Come on, Mr. Bailey. Then at the end of the show, they finally let the kid sing after he manages to uh, locate the missing baby Jesus from the nativity scene. Mr. Bailey, can I sing? Now? Yes, Matthew, you can do anything you want. And man, this kid just goes for broke. I mean, he knocks it out of the park. And I didn't have a gift to give for this little babe who had a life to live. He's singing, he's dancing, he's a pint sized tour de force. Gave my Lord a gift of But despite the wonderful performances and the goofball antics of Grandpa Jim, I just can't recommend this video. Maybe if your family is Christian, maybe if yours is the kind of family that watches Passion of the Christ around Christmas time, maybe you'll enjoy it. Otherwise, I don't think you will. And I mean, like I said before, a lot of the songs featured in here aren't even Christmas songs. So for that reason alone, this video, Gateway Films and Vision Videos, Just In Time For Christmas, gets a big thumbs down for me. So let's see what's next. All right, I got a good feeling about this. What do we got here? What do we got here? And some other videotape. Oh! 
Oh my god. There is no better way for me to satisfy my urges for warm, festive sentiment than spending time with my favorite pop culture misfits, the Muppets. As many of you know by now, I have a bit of an unhealthy obsession with the Muppets. I've loved them ever since I was a kid. I love everything that ever came out of Jim Henson Studios. Whole family is starting to come together. We always come together at Christmas. Yeah, life was just passing a blur if it weren't for times like this. This TV special uh, used to air every single year on our local channels. They would always put this on TV on like Christmas Eve or Christmas night, and whenever possible I would watch it usually together with my family. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle I'm bell, sure you're all familiar with the story. The Muppets are spending the holiday season at the home of Fozzie Bear's aunt. Uh, listen, Mrs. Bear, you know, I know there are an awful lot of us here. Oh, and so don't I just... you worry about it. Hmm? There's plenty of room for everybody. Excuse me. You promised me a nice, quiet Christmas. You think you're disappointed? I just took three months of surfing lessons for zip. But things get cranked up to an extra notch of awesomeness when the Muppets are joined by the Sesame Street Gang. Merry Christmas from Sesame Street! Merry Christmas! Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 la. I remember this being huge when I was a kid. I mean, I used to watch Sesame Street and Muppets, but while Sesame Street would be on TV in the mornings, Muppets was on in prime time in the evening hours, the more adult-oriented show, and there was very little crossover between the two, except for Kermit, who was just all over the place. Strike the heart and join the chorus. La 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 la. I will not sing this song. La 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 la. But so to see these two shows come together, it was really a special thing when I was a kid. Oh, hi there. Hey, we're Ernie and Bert. Yeah. Well, hi there yourself. I'm Doc. Oh, mm. did you know that Doc starts with the letter D? Why? Yes. Yes. Yes starts with the letter Y. Yeah. True. And true starts with the letter D. Hey, what is this? Where we come from, this is small talk. It felt like something that was so special it could only happen over Christmas. Look what I've got, Christmas cookies! Cookies! Oh, thank you. Who was that strange blue creature? That my kind of fella. Ah. Oh, and then, what are you doing down there? I made a discovery. Just when you think it can't get any better. Can we go in, Uncle Kermit? Well, maybe, maybe just a little ways. They bring in the Fraggles. Uh, hi there. Uh, hi, hey. yourself. Hi, uh, you're Fraggles. I'll say. But you're not. I'll say. Uh, no, I, I'm Kermit, this is Robin. Uh, we're frogs. The friggin' Fraggles are there too. I mean. When it's nice and bright and it brings delight, let your heart choose right. Gotta uh, pass it on. I mean, why not? It's Christmas. There are various storylines and gags that run throughout the show, all of which by now are classic. Oh, Mrs. Bear, I've been chasing the truck and boy, whoop! Uh, there's the icy patch on the doorway, which every character without fail slips and falls on. <laughs> we have this ongoing saga involving the Swedish chef and the turkey. New miscuous gobble gobble snooze. If you think I'm a nice fat bird, look at this! <laughs> Of course, in the end, the Swedish chef doesn't cook Big Bird. He makes friends with Big Bird because... Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Green gong smirt, egg gong smirt, don't go mute. 
It's Bling Gong Yeeber Eskimos. I mean, it's Big Bird. Out here it's lovely weather for a bear and a snowman like you. Out here the snow is falling and friends are calling you. Ah! There's the ballad of Fozzie and the snowman. Hey, that's pretty good harmony for a snowman. Actually, I'm a snowman. What's a snowman? Nothing's a snowman. What's a snow with you? Ah! Fozzie encounters this snowman outside who's got a sense of humor, and so he brings him in and tries to make him his comedy partner. Hey, Fozzie! Yes, Mr. Snowman! Did you hear about the church that burned down? Holy smoke! <laughs> <laughs> And then, of course, there's the big, overarching, dramatic storyline of Miss Piggy. Listen, Piggy, there's a terrible storm outside, and I really think it's too dangerous to travel. So why don't you wait for the storm to end before you join us? Nonsense! And miss my Christmas Eve with Vu? It's just a little bit of snow! Who is late getting to the cabin and gets trapped and lost in a big snowstorm. Not unlike Grandpa Jim. So there's an interesting connection between the two movies so far. Hmm. Take it, Rolf. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. This program is chock full of traditional uh, old Christmas songs, plus a fair amount of original songs that are sprinkled in there, all of which are just as Christmassy and genuinely heartwarming. Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen when the snow lay round about deep and crisp and even. Brightly shone the moon that night though the frost was cruel when a poor man came in sight gathering winter fuel. This is one of my favorite musical specials to put on right after a big Christmas feast when everyone's all sitting around the living room. I'll be home for Christmas. You can count on me. And just for that little extra added touch of sentimentality at the end, we get a cameo from Jim Henson himself. Well, they certainly seem to be having a good time out there, Sprocket. <laughs> Yeah, I like it when they have a good time. But I tell you what, somebody's got to do something about these dishes, Sprocket. Come on, I'll wash and you dry, okay? So yes, Muppet Family Christmas, I definitely recommend. I sincerely love this movie and will continue to watch it every single Christmas as long as I am able. And I urge everyone who doesn't have a horrible fear of puppets to please check it out. So how the heck do you top that? Well, let's see what we have inside our stocking. I'm just going to top Muppet Family Christmas, but let's... <gasps> oh my god! It's the Shoji Tabuchi Family Wonder of Christmas Show! So, a little bit of a story behind this one here. I first became aware of Shoji Tabuchi and his talented family when one of his videotapes was featured on an episode of Best of the Worst. I became immediately fascinated. So I went onto the website and I found that not only is Shoji Tabuchi and his family still performing shows, but you can still order merch! So, me with a credit card and nothing better to spend my money on, I decided to order not only the Shoji Tabuchi Family Wonder of Christmas show, but three additional Shoji Tabuchi videotapes. I'm Just like the one I used to know. And uh, in addition to the videotapes, I also have a one-of-a-kind original 
Shoji Tabuchi t-shirt. Eat your heart out. Wrote a letter to Santa last night. Told him what we want to make our Christmas right. If we don't get it, we're gonna be blue. We want a rockin' little Christmas with you. The Shoji Tabuchi family wonder of Christmas show has now become my favorite thing to throw on in the background when I'm uh, just around the house wrapping presents, or if I'm decorating the tree, or if I have some people over and I want to set a festive mood. Every winter breeze that scurries sends the snowflakes up in flurries. It's the good old sentimental season. I should point out, Shoji Tabuchi is also a minor celebrity who performs out of Branson, Missouri. It's a hard work, but somebody got to do it. <laughs> Just like Grandpa Jim. So that's another little weird connection that we have here tonight among our movies. It's like a Branson Muppet sandwich. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please make welcome to the stage the incredible Shoji Tabuchi! But while Grandpa Jim and uh, Just In Time For Christmas was all Christian songs. Thank you, dear Jesus, for all of this day. Shoji has a nice balance between those uh, traditional Christian classics. good helping of songs about jolly old Saint Nick. There's also a mix of musical styles from rock to pop to country to gospel. It must have been old Santa, cause I saw his big red hat. And I know my mom and dad can't fly like that. Oh no. I know my mom and dad can't fly like that. We got some choirs. We got some solo numbers. We don't need this You got to take it so to us And of course, we got some fiddling. I hear you doubters out there. I hear you out there, you doubters, you naysayers, you Grinches. If you're a doubter, if you're out there watching this and you say, Bernie, you've lost it. You've had way too much eggnog, my friend. Well, to you, I say, go and watch it for yourself and see if it doesn't pump you full of the Christmas spirit. When you were growing up, what was your favorite gift that you ever received? Well, I had a couple. Oh, one is a choo-choo strings kit or set. And the other one was a fire engine truck. Fire truck. Fortunately, you can see it for yourself. You can find the full special on YouTube and put it on in your home. Put it on next time you have people over, and tell me it isn't a festive and entertaining distraction. Forgot to mention one little thing, a ring. 
And I don't mean like a phone Santa baby And hurry down the chimney tonight Do it Folks According to Consumers Report Most popular music In the entire planet right now Is rap music Watch it We, we decide to show you folks what, what sound like Rap music over there and rap music over here You won't regret it Yo ho ho It was the night before Christmas and all through the night Now the creature was stirring not even up The stockings were hung from the chimney with With hopes of St. Nicholas or Toby I said yo He said yo I said yo Oh, uh, and by the way, the full running time of this special, two hours and 49 minutes. Kano, Yashika, Fujika. Honda, Nissan, Datsan, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Kawasaki, Kawabanga, Ninja, Nintendo, Rice Cooker, Sumo Wrestler, He's Big, Oh, I like Sake and Sushi, and Toyota, Sushi, Sushi and Sake, Sake is a Japanese wine, Sake, Sake, Sake to me baby, yo! Gotta be good, gotta be good, he's him! Yo <laughs> I say Yo mama <laughs> Merry Christmas Well folks that is our little look At three musical Christmas movies I hope you enjoyed it And I hope you all enjoy yourselves This holiday season From everyone here at Movie Night I'm your old pal Bernie Wishing everyone out there all the health wealth and happiness in the coming year and until we meet again next time have a merry christmas old friends new friends home with the family we'll be together at christmas snowflakes sleigh bells bringing back memories we'll be together Stay.